Hello teachers, good afternoon. My name is Kakunguro Jeffrey Musoke, a teacher of the Sia Girls High School, found in Mkoba. Today we are here on our fourth video. We are going to look at the, uh, the actual male margin. When we talk of male margin, we are combining our video 2, which we looked at the Excel template, and video 3, which talks about uh, the word document, which we saw in our video 3. So in these two, that's where we are going to merge. We are going to merge the two, and we make the final work, which we actually are going to present in our next video. I would like everyone to be very, very much careful on every steps because whichever step you miss here, then you'll never be able to, uh, to reach the final step. Thank you very much. Let us go to the demonstration on the computer. Fellow teachers, welcome to this session. Uh, as we said, we are going to uh, look at the fees balance sheet, and then we are also going to look at the rep sample reports, and we are also going to look at the circular. Let us start with the school fees balance sheet, and we see how we can use it to make uh, to uh, in mail merger. We are opening both the Excel document and we are also opening the Word document of the same. Uh, they are both opening. This one is the Word and then we are seeing also Excel opening. Uh, this is our Excel template uh, which contains the 30 students we talked about. This is the Word document which contains the section for the name of student and then also the respective class which respective class also appears the information appears on the what on the excel uh, template now in the process of mail merging when you want to mail merge go to uh mailings if you see this section here, it is talking about mailings. Go to mailings. Inside mailing, uh, press mailing. If you look at it, you'll see a section here which says start mail uh, merger. This section here, I hope you are seeing it. Press that section. And when you press it, it will give you options. We have letter, email, messages, envelopes, labels, directory, normal word document, and step-by-step -step mail merger. Choose step-by-step -step mail merger. When you choose it, it will give you an option here on your right of your screen. Uh, it is still talking about the same letters, email, messages, envelopes, labels, and, and directory. Choose letters. We are going to use letters and if you look at the bottom here, it is talking about uh, started, starting document. That is step one. Uh, we are going to the next step. If you choose that, I uh, will keep on, if you look at the top here, it says use the current document. Yes, this is the current document we are going to use. We'll select that current document and we press next. If you look at down here, it is talking about next follow that step next it has given us here the use an existing list we are going to mail merge use an existing list and if we look here there is a word browse choose this browse so that you select the excel document you know where you kept the excel document if i press it it is giving us a dialog box inside this dialog box you choose now this one will depend on where you saved them. Choose where you saved them. Me, mine, I saved them on the desktop. There is a folder called samples. It's here. When I open it, it is school fees balance. This Excel one, open it. And when it opens, there's this document, this dialog box which has opened. It is, uh, I think if you look at the document, my excel document it is this form to see it is labeled form to 
uh, we go back it is this, this form to choose it when i choose it if you try to look at it when it is open it has the information from the excel document it has the names these are the names they are found on f2 f3 and f4 if you look on top here the labels and we have the sex we have the classes in f6 and in f7 we have the balance you need to note down this this information get a piece of paper note down where are the names my names as we've said they are on f2 f3 and f4 then classes are on f6 and then the balance is on f7 after having noted down that information you uh, you press ok here press ok after pressing ok let us go to next we'll go to next when you press next uh we are now going to press six yeah uh, we are on three, uh, step four choose here on the list which has been given here you are seeing here there is more items choose more items if you look at more items it has given us the other f's i was talked about we have f2 meaning that if i look here where the name of the parent is name of student here the parent of choose uh, go to more items here choose f2 we have f2 we insert after choosing f2 insert it and and close you are seeing here in my document it has inserted f2 possibly i can leave a space go back here choose f3 for the second name insert close leave space uh go back here to more items choose f4 insert close now you're seeing here in my document it is giving us f2 f3 and f4 meaning that this is where the names of the students are going to appear the second name the first second and third name we said the class choose here go to class we said class is on uh, f4 if i try to see this was f2 3 4 5 6 i think it will be on f6 i choose my f6 put it there on the section of class and here you are seeing if you look at the uh thing bring it do you see here balance of here i will put it there the balance now that's where i'm supposed to put the amount press more go balance is on f7 insert close if you try to read the document it is reading to the parent of here it is reading f2 f3 f4 uh then f6 here and then here f7 after that we can say that is now we are on steps if you look down here we are reading step four of six you can preview your letter if you preview your letter it is now reading to the parent of here it is going to put the student name here it is going to put the class and here it is going to put the balance and try to read up here we are um, circling here at saying recipient one press next you see that the first recipient is ambali or mali uh, is in form 1a then we have a balance of 20,000 shillings and we can see next yeah we can press next we'll see the next recipient who is Anthony Francis and so forth so this document you can save it in our next video we are going to move from here from this one and we go to the next next step uh that is now in video the following video when we go on we can also look at uh, now that one has been on the school fees balance let us look also on the circular talifa kwa mzazi it is also opening we are going to do something similar at uh, this one uh -huh. remember here we said we are going to put the name we go back go back we now we are saying we, we said it go to mailings followed by uh start mail merger it is here step by step wizard and in the step by step wizard when it brings here on your right choose later start document it is here at the bottom 
after that we use the current document we continue to select here in step two we go to step three we after that go to step uh, use an existing list and then we browse where that list is and we have to look for that li list where it is as i said mine is on desktop folder called samples it is here called circular excel i open it it is still f2 form 2 now you can see the names parent of uh, here it is already labeled Mdugu, Mzazo, Mlezwa. Now, for us, we are only interested in the names of the students. The names of the students are on F4, F5, and F6. That one, you obviously, you must have written it down. Depending on your document, write it down. For me, it is on, I'm, going to, I'm only interested in F4, F5, and F6. Put it there, uh, go on. We've already chosen the document. We go and write the letter. That is here. We are now on step three. We go to step four. In writing the letter, as we said, go to more items. It is here. Choose more items. We said we are on F4. Insert. It has been inserted there. Leave a space between now the uh, first and second name. Insert again. F5. Insert close leave a space again f6 insert close leave a space so, uh, i think that is the only information I, I wanted to fill here and when i go on here to preview my letter preview my letter uh, if i continue recipient number one let us go to the top recipient number one is there ambali omari recipient number two is there Anton Francis and so on up to the last recipient obviously now the document you looked at in the uh, reflection spot one of excel and reflection spot one of word will be now you're trying to combine the two me i was using the circular i was using the reports and also the fees balance now even this one you can save it this is where we are going to start in our next I uh, will be starting from here in our next uh, report. So in next uh, video, that is video number five, it will be talking about uh, about this. Now, after having moved away from there, go to, we can go to the report. Now, this report is a bit longer, but I'll, what is important, we can see the fields. How do we feed in? How do you feed in those different uh, Thirds. I may not finish all of them now, but at least I'm going to give you a, an idea. And this idea, you must finish it yourself. That is now our reflection spot. You must try to complete this work. Uh, the report is here. We are also having, that is our sample report. Uh, when we try to open, we can also see our overall summary here. Now, this is the information which is supposed to be filled into our report. It is a, a lot of information according to what now I had prepared, but now it has every part. It has its own part. Now, we go to the report. This is the report. Where are we supposed to have the name of the students? It will be here. Then we start. A mail merge, we said we start with the mailings. Choose. Go to start mail merger. It is here. Choose step by step mail merger and it will give us this uh, right uh, dialogue bar section. Uh, it is in letters, it's labeled letters. Leave it there, go to start document. We continue, use the current document, then we just continue and select the recipients. When you select the recipients, it is still given, it will give us a browse, browse go and still look for where the document is we say desktop samples and we choose the document the document is this one open it uh, still that first part it has opened when it opens you will see how the names are moving we are starting with f2 f3 f4 
f5 will be for 6 that means the subject start from f5 and so forth f5 f6 f7 the first batch of subjects max will stop on f16 after that the grades the other grade section for grades will start on f18 uh, 19 20 and run on up to uh 28 then after that we can continue from there it will move from uh 30 that is now you are seeing the comments from 30 up to 40 that is now the comments now we have the section for average here you can see the average here we have section for points we have section for division we have section for position try to note all of them down note all of them down right from all those ones on a piece of paper after having noted them down we come back here and we write our letter here write your letter it's giving us here if you look here it is talking about more items choose more items start filling in we said the name i'm going to first fill in the first section of max name is on uh, f2 insert close it is here then leave a space between the first name and the second name uh go back here to more items f3 insert close leave a space go to more items again uh choose f4 insert close i've now inserted in my my max so my names this is the first name f2 second name f3 third name f4 on the section of max uh we said the max range from f6 now i can choose f6 insert close that is now civics history followed f7 followed by the next subject f8 followed by the next subject f9 insert close or cancel next one 10 insert close or cancel next 11 you're seeing it has 6 7 8 9 10 11 don't try to copy and then just change the letter this is the only way you can you can do it fill in automatically so that this one may be tiresome here it may look like it is tiresome but in the long run it's going to save you a lot of work fill all those fields which you have to to fill uh f15 and lastly on the max i'm having f16 you're seeing that i've marked i've put in all the max which i need to do it which i need to put in now at this point uh i'm going to first pause the video and you will see the remaining part when after i've filled in uh, we can continue you're seeing i'm finalizing uh i'm now on the last subject there f40 if we come here the division division we say division will be on 44 insert it there oh, we have your average the average was put on 42 it is here uh, what else the points they're on 43 We insert them position in class is on position in class was on 45 it is here close now after that i've already filled in all the fields which i need to fill which appear on my report after that i can go and preview my letter if i see the first one is blank but if I go, second one looks also has just names of subjects. But the third one has the first student, Adelfina Kashaga, the max uh, that student got, 
plus the respective grades and all the comments which go with that here the average is here shown the points are shown the division is shown and the the uh, position in class number 30 so i can even go up here and say go to the last two recipient last recipient the turning is 302 and you see the marks for that for that student now i have all the reports for all the 300 students you can try to see the information being given there uh, in our next video we are going to see how we move from this step and we go and make the final uh, information thank you very much for watching i wish you a good evening welcome back from that uh, demonstration i think everyone has been very very much careful you've seen the steps how we have moved it we've connected our excel document a template and our word document everyone try to practice what you have learned in your respective uh, documents you have been making which we talked about in those previous reflection spots and tomorrow we are going to make the final wrap up or in the next fifth video our last video we are going to make up the final wrap up of the entire uh, mail margin process we have been seeing thank you for watching we meet in the next video.